so today's video is going to be my winter coat collection i thought i would talk you through some of my favorite coats well actually i thought i'd talk you through all of my coats and tell you which ones are my favorites which will keep me warm which ones aren't so great and which ones you guys should definitely avoid um i have been meaning to film this video for a while um, I wanted to do it in November so that it was like really early for winter and I just never got around to it. Um, and then I was thinking, should I do it now? Is it too late? And then I realised that last year it snowed in February. So I was like, it's still probably going to get cold. So this will hopefully be useful to you guys if you're still looking for a coat to buy or just want to pick a new one up or want to kind of know what's out there um, and what I would recommend. If this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, then hello, welcome. My name is Sabina and this is my channel. I kind of do lifestyle, fashion, beauty, a little bit of everything on here. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure you check out some of my old videos and I do upload every week. So keep an eye out for next week's video. And like I said, hit subscribe so that you can be notified when I do upload. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into it. So the first coat I'm gonna to talk to you guys about is this one here. This little Primark number. Um, this was £25. It is from Primark. They do have it in other colours. I've seen purple, definitely. I can't remember what other colours. Um, but I picked it up in this brown. I actually bought it because of the colour. I really, really love the colour. In a lot of my Instagram pictures, it looks like it's orange, but it's not. It's a brown coat. Um, it's very lightweight, so it was perfect for autumn when I was wearing like a knitted top underneath and then this on top. Um, but over the last few weeks, it's been really, really cold and I haven't worn it. I think maybe once when I was wearing like three layers underneath. I wouldn't recommend it as a winter coat, but I think it's great for autumn because of the colour. Um, and then you could probably wear it through to spring as well, because spring is normally quite cold in the UK. So I really like the shape of this coat. In terms of length, it comes just below knee length. It's got two slits at the back, um, and I feel like it looks really nice and elegant when you're wearing it. It does have um, pockets, which is really useful, and it also has two buttons. The buttons can't be seen at the front. They kind of conceal when they click into place, um, so it still gives you that, that smooth, elegant finish, which I really like. Um, in terms of quality, the quality is okay. Like I said, it's lightweight. It has started bubbling, but I have worn this so much. I literally worn it at least two or three times every week. I really, really do love it, um, and I just love this colour. I just think it's a perfect colour. So the next coat's a very similar colour. It's this brown teddy coat from Primark. I believe this was also 25. I can't actually remember the prices. I think the Primark ones were both 25. And um, I've been told that they don't have this one in stock anymore. Um, so if you've got it anywhere near you, write it in the comments because I know loads of people want it. I originally wanted one from Misguided, which was I think 60 quid. Um, and then when it arrived, it just, it didn't fit well on me, it just looked awful. So I sent it back and then I went into Primark and I saw this. Even this is like, with teddy coats, they sit on you really large. They make you look a lot bigger than you are. Um, and a lot of people aren't comfortable, like, looking larger. And I think that's the reason I sent it back initially, because I was like, oh my god, it makes me look really fat. Um, but actually, they keep you so warm, they are so comfortable. That I'm like, I don't, I don't even care how I look. <laughs> you know, it's a nice colour, it's soft, and it's keeping me warm, so it's doing everything it needs to. Um, this one does have pockets as well. It's got very deep pockets, um, and it's also got two or three buttons down the front. So I'm wearing a size 10, and as you can see, like it does look like it's a bit big for me, but that's just how teddy coats look. I would highly recommend everybody get a teddy coat. They're, they're just so warm. Um, don't let the fact that it's quite oversized and it's quite big and bulky put you off, because honestly, once you get one, you'll be like, why didn't I do this sooner? You know, I like quite fitted, straight line coats. So teddy coats aren't really my style. But I'm just so, so, so glad I got one. I've actually got a white one as well, which I'll talk to, you, talk to you guys about in a minute. But I'm so glad I got one because honestly, when it's been cold, this has just kept me so warm. Even if, even if I've got like a really light um, shirt on underneath, it will still keep me warm, which I love. And I guess that's what you really want from a coat. You want something that's going to keep you warm. So the next coat is this cream one from, this is from Shein. I can't remember how much it was. I think it's about two years old. It's actually quite a heavy, warm coat. A lot of the coats on Shein are very light and not great quality. I think the quality of this one is really good. Um, the only thing I would say is that it doesn't have a lining inside. I think just having a faux silk lining inside would have just upped the quality in the game of this coat so much um, because you can actually see the seams on the inside, which is a little bit annoying. I know nobody else is gonna see them, but I feel like it's a little bit annoying. Um, and I just feel like it would have felt like better quality if it had a lot if it had a lining and it would have lasted longer. Um, this doesn't have any buttons. Um, for me, I don't mind that because I like being able to show a bit of my outfit outfit off underneath. But I know for some people, they find that annoying because they want the coat to close it up. It does have pockets as well. I hate coats that don't have pockets. Um, a lot of the times, I just run out the house with my phone and my keys and my card. And you know, you need a pocket just to slot all of those things in. 
So up next is this grey, super soft, super fluffy coat from French Connection. Absolutely love this. They have it in brown as well, but I thought I've got a couple of coats in brown. I don't need another brown one, so I opted for the grey. It's so soft, guys. Like, I can't explain to you how soft it is. And because it's, like, quite thick... It's got lining inside as well. Because it's quite thick, it keeps you really, really warm as well. In terms of length, it's just above knee length. Um, so I think the length is all right. I mean, I wouldn't have minded it if it was slightly longer. But it's a great coat and I love it. It is on the price range. It's £170. Pounds. Um, the quality, though, is amazing. And I know this is a coat that is going to last a good few years. So um, I'm glad that I've got this. It does have two buttons across the front so you can button it up. I hate buttoning up coats because I always feel like I look so huge and frumpy in them when they're buttoned up so i tend to like it like wearing it over the shoulders or that's not really practical most of the time <laughs> or if i'm gonna wear it not button it up and show off my outfit underneath but yeah i love this one so the next one not really a coat kind of a jacket but i still want to show you guys it's this black fluffy furry one from h and it from the h m and Gino collection it's the only thing i got from the collection i really really wanted some of the handbags but they just sold out so quickly it was crazy um this is a really cute jacket i just i haven't worn it i feel like it's not really my style it's super warm um but obviously your legs would be freezing like if it's really cold outside and you've got this to keep your top half warm then your bottom half's gonna be cold i feel like this is one of those jackets that you wear to like a party event you wear it when you turn up and then you just take it off um it's not really for like going out shopping or going out running errands um it's not one of those coats um but yeah i don't think it's available anymore either because obviously it was limited edition um and i kind of got i kind of got it hanging up here even though i probably won't wear it which is really bad and i know i shouldn't do that my best friend has worn it she she borrowed it she was like i know you haven't worn it worn it yet but please can i borrow it? i think i might end up just giving it to her because it is such a cute jacket but let's be real i don't think i'm gonna wear it it's a shame for it just to be hanging here if i don't wear it so next is a new coat that i've gotten it's this checked one from Modenisa. This is lovely. It's a little bit oversized, which I was surprised by. I ordered a size 10. Normally I go for 12 in coats because if I'm wearing a thick knit underneath, then I want it to fit on top. Um, but I wanted this to be quite fitted because it's not super thick or super heavy. It's quite, quite light. I think this will be more suitable for like February time. Um, so I wanted like a normal size. So I got size 10, um, but it's still, it's still quite big. It looks quite loose. So actually, I think I might be able to wear it now straight away um and just pair it with like really chunky knit so that i'd stay super warm in it in terms of length it is a long coat it's got two pockets it's got three buttons and a collar just love the check pattern on it i feel like it's so in at the moment um and i just feel like i could dress this up in so many different ways so yeah definitely something that i would recommend you guys checking out i'll leave a link for it below so you guys can check it out i will leave a link for all of them below actually the primark ones i can't because primark don't sell online um and some of the sheen ones i think they might not have anymore because they're like a couple of years old but i'll try and find similar ones for the ones that i haven't got the direct things for and leave everything down below for you so the next coat is this fluffy furry number from boohoo i got this last winter no actually i got it uh yeah it was it was last winter i got it last january so it's been a year i was gonna say actually i got it this year because i thought we were still in december but we're not it's january 29 i got i got this in january 2018 it's super long so it's full coverage it doesn't have any buttons and it's got kind of bumps so it gives it kind of a little bit of a shape it's got deep pockets as well um it's really warm i love it it's a really nice coat the only thing i would say is there's been so many times where especially when i'm at my mum's house and i'm like running up the stairs where I've like kind of nearly tripped on the coat because it's so long and because I'm quite short. Um, so in hindsight, I probably would have gone for something that was a little bit shorter. But I like the fact that like, if I'm having one of those days where I'm rushing around, I can't really be bothered. I would just stick on something, just put this on top and it will keep me warm and it just kind of covers the whole outfit so I don't have to worry about what I'm wearing underneath or anything. Um, in terms of price, I think it was £40 last January. I can't remember. But both always have like fur coats and long fur coats. So I will find a few and link them for you below. So the next coat is this black one from I Saw It First. I wasn't sure whether I should include this or not because as you guys will see from the clips, it just does not look nice. It has kind of sucked up all of the dust um, and all the fluff from like my rug and everything and it just won't come off. Um, I've had this coat I reckon for about two months now. It was £80 on the I Saw It First website but they always have 
like 40% off or 50% off and I managed to get it for £40 um, and when I first got it oh my god I was so impressed the quality of it is really great it's the heavy coat so it keeps you warm it's got pockets it's got buttons um, and I did wear it I think every day for at least a whole month um, because I really really liked it but um, I don't know if you can see from the clips but the lining inside has ripped um, and it's just it's got all of this dust and all of this bubbles on it and I'm really really disappointed because um, obviously like I got it half price but if I paid 80 quid for this coat I would have been so pissed I mean I'm still annoyed that at 40 quid it's gone like this but if I paid 80 quid for it I would have been so pissed off because you expect something when you're paying that much for something you expect it to last and it just hasn't um, if you want something that you're only going to wear for a few weeks or for a month then by all means go and get it and if you're really good at look after your clothes and then get it but for me I don't have time to sit here with like a razor blade or a bubble machine or sellotape and just cleaning it up every single time I wear it a lot of the times I'm in a rush I just want to like grab grab my handbag grab no stuff chuck, chuck my coat on and leave the house um so yeah I'm just I'm a little bit guided about it because apart from it gathering all of that dust and the lining ripping it was a really really nice coat and it actually kept me warm as well which is why I wore it so much um so yeah so the next coat is this black and white check squared coat this is from Shein I can't remember the price because it's like three years old um I feel like it's starting to show that it's old now, but I feel like the quality is really great, especially for something that I've got off Shein. I don't always expect the highest quality. I don't really expect great quality from Shein, let's be honest. It's, you know, a lot of the times they do trend pieces that you wear for a few weeks or a couple of months and that's it. The fact that this has lasted me three winters and I have worn it um, shows that it is really good quality and sometimes you can pick up good quality stuff. I even wore it last winter when I was pregnant. I kind of just like <laughs> wore it over my bump um, and it keeps me warm and I guess that's the main thing that you want from a coat it is it's not full length because it's not ankle length but it is long it gives full coverage like i said it keeps you warm it's got deep deep pockets kind of everything that you want from a coat so yeah i really like that one i'm gonna see if i can find it on the sheen website or see if i can find something similar for you guys down below so the next jacket is this white teddy jacket and um, i got this in the black friday sales it's more of a jacket than a coat i still wanted to include it in this video because it's super warm and i honestly think you guys should check it out it's from a store called monkey i've never shopped from them before um, and on black friday they had a half price sale on loads of stuff so i ordered the white one and the black one but they didn't send me the black one because they said it was out of stock and they refunded me the money they're originally 66 pounds and they were down to 33 so obviously just got the one it's more of like an off white it's not like this is white so it's not white white um but it's like kind of cream off white it's so warm guys it looks huge i think i can't remember what size it is let me check Oh, it's a small, it's a small, I'm glad I didn't get medium, normally I go for medium. Um, it does look big, but once again, I think that's just because that's what teddy coats are like. They're supposed to be oversized. Um, it's got like a faux silk lining. It's really like cozy to wear and it does keep me so warm. It's the only jacket that I took to Prague when I went recently. Um, and I was so glad that this is the one that I took because honestly, the whole time it was like so warm. The next coat is also a jacket, but I wanted to include it because it's one of my favourites. It's this like white and black furry well the thing is the fur is white all over and then the tips are black so it gives this like white black i don't really know like dirty snow effect but it's so soft it's so warm it's super short which is why i don't wear it as much as i'd like to um, but i think i've had this one for about three years as well it's from Shein, and i feel like it looks really glam and it's nice and it is really really warm um so if i've got like a skirt or a dress on and i've got leggings or thermals underneath i will stick this on top so that my top half is warm and i know my legs are already warm because i've got like boots and leggings <laughs> all those different layers on but this is a really lovely coat i do really like it and then the last one from my collection is one of my favourites. It's this white misguided coat. Um, I got this, I think, three years ago. I love the gold detailing on, detailing on it. Just looks really classy. Um, it's quite a heavy, very well-made coat. I think this was £40. So for the price, the quality is amazing. It's a really good quality coat. It's not super warm. So I probably wouldn't wear it at the moment because it's freezing at the moment. Um, I probably wear it, if I was going to wear it at the moment, I'd wear it with like a really chunky, thick knit so I would be warm. Um, but it, it does keep you warm, but it's not as warm as like the teddy coats, for example. In terms of length, it comes just below knee length which I think is a perfect length it's a really nice fit it's too tight for me now I did wear it last year over my belly over my big um pregnant bump as well and managed to like get away with it because I didn't button it up and at the moment whenever I wear it I don't button it up because when I do button it up it's a really really snug fit and it just makes me look like I'm squ squashed inside it um so I tend to kind of just wear it 
open and then you can see my outfit underneath it's got pockets and it's got a belt as well even when it did fit me perfectly i didn't wear the belt back then either i think i might have burned it up i can't remember but i just love the detail detailing on it and i feel like everybody needs everybody needs at least one white coat in their wardrobe i know white is the color that a lot of people are afraid of wearing but i just feel like it looks so nice especially in the winter so that's it guys that was my winter coat collection like i said i will leave links for everything below i'll try and find some similar pieces so that you guys can check them out and i'll try and do like a a range of prices as well so some like more affordable and some more high end so that you guys have got a good pick i hope you like this video i think i'm going to try and do more fashion related content this year because it is what i love 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 filming and talking about um and hopefully you guys enjoy watching it so yeah until next time take care i will see you all soon make sure you hit subscribe make sure you give this a thumbs up and yeah i'll see you all soon bye